News 24-7. Welcome back to Shop Talk. I'm Pia Antivares. We're still talking about how to improve our lives this year. In this segment, we have JV Wong. She's the managing director and founder of People Ignite. Hi, JV. Thanks for being Hi, here. Hi. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Okay. You know, tell us first about People Ignite. You started the company about five years ago, no? Yes. People Ignite is inspired by a strong, deep passion. Something mm -hmm. that uh, uh, wakes me up night mm -hmm. knowing that I have a purpose in life which is to share my experiences with others mm -hmm. it started with the fire of teaching others mm -hmm. and so because of that fire I got people ignite as a name mm -hmm. okay. and uh, people ignite is a training company and an organizational uh, company as well mm -hmm. we focus on uh, trainings and workshops for companies and mm -hmm. communities as well mm -hmm. okay well uh, we invited you to the show because uh, we're, we're supposed we're talking about improvements for 2009 or improvement mm -hmm. or improvements and um, part of your work has to do with helping uh, employees improve mm -hmm. themselves organizations improve themselves and um, it's in it's interesting that you say that everyone should always aim for continuous improvement continuous learning especially for 2009 mm -hmm. we can't uh, negate the fact that recession is already being uh, felt right now mm -hmm. and um, as they say the coming years will be more difficult mm -hmm. but the nice thing about it is that Pinoy's global Pinoy is ready to rock despite mm -hmm. any challenges and one way to rock and one way to to become competent and competitive despite challenges is through continuous learning mm -hmm. our way in in people ignite is through training facilitation and planning though there are still a lot of ways on how one can self-improve mm -hmm. but the important thing is end of the day the important lesson is one has to aim to improve improve the skill work on his or her behavior mm -hmm. so that the person would remain competent in the job mm -hmm. okay um you have here uh well a, a list in a way you know of, of uh Things that uh, these are called from your interviews with companies, you know, yes. all, on all the years of uh, of your work that, that you've been through, mm -mm. Um, and you say that these are the aspects that working people should improve on. Let's go through them. So first, you all say right. discovering one's potential. It's yes. interesting huh? because you're saying th these are people who are already working and still mm -hmm. don't know their potential. Good question. Uh, mm -hmm. Given that one discovering one's potential, it's a realization that we have as organizational development consultants in mm -hmm. companies. Ito yung lumalabas mm -hmm. na pangangailangan ng maraming empleyado. Regardless whether the company is a small-scale enterprise or a large enterprise like Microsoft or perhaps HP Philippines, discovering one's potential always comes up mm -hmm. as top one in the, in the demand of sessions. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And uh, when you say discovering one's potential, you'll be surprised that a lot of people would work having or bearing in mind the paycheck, mm -hmm. not really realizing that there are still a lot of talents mm -hmm. that he or she can discover mm -hmm. while working on the job. Yeah. So that is top one for oh, us. Okay. It's interesting that you, you we're not talking here about parang fitting people into the, mm. the, 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 the function they're supposed to perform or, the, or the, the role or their position. You're talking about parang going beyond that. Is that, is that what you mean? One is... Uh, you may be in a job right now mm -hmm. and uh, you just eventually <coughs> discover that you have other talents along while you're doing the job. That is mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. y it means you can still maximize your talents, you can maximize your skill. But another area is, you were saying, Pia, going beyond, mm -hmm. it's career development also. You mm -hmm. may want to look outside of what you're doing now and see other ways and means on where you can excel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, confidence building. Oh, that is top two. Confidence mm -hmm. building alongside with communication skill, subtopics of presentation skill, and a lot of um, interacting with others. That mm -hmm. is top two on the list because um, small, medium scale, and large enterprise always would like their people to be more assertive, more mm -hmm. outspoken. Mm -hmm. You know, Pinoyers are very good. I'm very proud to say I am Pinoy, mm -hmm. but it makes me sad to see very good ones not being able to assert oneself. Mm -hmm. And uh, through some of our training programs, 
were able to help them realize that they can do it mm -hmm. through communication. Mm -hmm. You have uh, two, what, what shall I call them, paintings? Or ah, okay. paintings here? Tell us what they are and why they're important in, okay. in training. People Ignite's mantra is fusing art and science. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of training companies out there in the Philippines and I give my hats to them. Our way and style, however, is when we fuse art and science, we make sure that we put fun and enjoyment and, memor and memorable experiences mm -hmm. when our attendees join our session. But mm. at the same time, as they do it, they realize some of their talents. For example, this is the work of Francis. Mm -hmm. Francis or Kiko is um, one of our colleagues in People Ignite. We had them do a session <laughs> likewise mm -hmm. in the office. You know, Francis is a very interesting story. He has been working with People Ignite for two and a half years. Mm -hmm. He has been in the Regency stage. He came out from the seminary wanting to see the world and hopefully eventually will go back to the seminary. Mm -hmm. But when he did this, he realized that um, he wants to put his mark on the world and being able to enlighten people through People Ignite, through training. Mm -hmm. So ito yung nangyari sa kanyang painting. Mm -hmm. And this is displayed in the office. Mm -hmm. And we have done hundreds of this for some of our attendees. Mm -hmm. So we infuse creativity. And eventually, hopefully, the person would realize na magaling pala ako doon. Mm -hmm. Or ito pala yung gusto kong patunguhan. Mm -hmm. And okay. or this is my mission. Mm -hmm. And if we're able to do that, then uh, I believe um, our work in People Ignite is fulfilled. Mm -hmm. This is my work. Mm -hmm. My favorite color is purple. purple. That's why I shared <laughs> okay. with Pia. I love yeah. your color. I wasn't joking. Yeah. Uh, purple is one of our... Mm -hmm. uh, it has a color personality of being funky. Mm -hmm. And at mm -hmm. the same time, being deep in terms of uh, personality. We do have color personalities in our sessions mm -hmm. as well. So if you love orange, if you love red or pink, those colors represent the personality of the person. So I'm a combination of orange, which is the the source of creative ideas mm -hmm. but at the end of the at the end of the painting i realized i wanted to put my mark on it so in everything that i do kailangan mm -hmm. may naaccomplish ako mm -hmm. and likewise okay. with our attendees we've done a lot of this in our trainings mm -hmm. okay and uh, they end up um being successful mm -hmm. all right and effective okay thank you very much uh, jv wong you know i'm i'm so sorry we just ran out of time so we won't be able to have you and uh, Tony Meloto and um, Jaime Galvestan and, and uh, uh, Anthony. <laughs> I almost said Kiko Pangilinan. <laughs> Anthony Pangilinan <laughs> back here. Sayang. No, I, I have a better idea. We'll have you guys back in, a, in another episode. <laughs> Para we can finish talking. Okay, so thank you, JV. And of course, thank, thank you, you for to, inviting us as yeah, well. Salamat. Thank you to Tony Meloto, Jaime Galvestan, and Anthony Pangilinan. Okay. Um, we're going to X2 now. Uh, thank you for watching Shop Talk. <laughs> I'm Beyond Tiberius. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you again on Monday. Happy New Year.